Hello YouTube family, this is Lucid Alvar here today with another video. Today is actually going to be more of a tutorial video for all the newcomers, anybody that is playing Kenshi or that are thinking and like watching all these Kenshi clips and want to get a little bit of a head start on how to build a base. This is a really basic base that you only require research level 2 for, a research level 2 bench actually, which isn't that hard to get. You can get that pretty much just being inside, um, you know, a city. And just placing down one like research bench and researching it all and then being done with it this base is pretty much the video for anybody that wants to learn how to make a beginner base it's not that hard it is pretty pretty simple and it's pretty expensive too so once you finish it and you start expanding your tech level and everything you could really you know expand inside your own base but without further ado let's get straight into it so the first thing you want to do is find a location and also have all the tech one stuff done so having all the tech one stuff done is pretty simple it's pretty easy so i'm not really going to go over anything like that because this is mainly just a base location build but i am going to put this on here that this is um, a tech level two type of base build thing and where you can expand it out to be even a bigger base but the first thing is the location and the storm house and walls the first thing is finding like a biome you like or an area you just love and is your favorite now there are a lot of ways to go about this, but the thing you should do is prospect the land. Prospect the land. Prospecting the land will be able to tell you how fertile and how much water there is on the land that you are on. It will also show you um, where the nearest deposits of iron and copper are. These two resources are the most important if you're going to dive deep into building a lot of things and an expansion on your base. And having these things just near is really good. Also, stone is another one that pops up. But is um it's like more of a built deposit like you can kind of place it down anywhere so that's why it's not really um that like you know you have to cent center around it i mean it'd be good to have high quality stone but it doesn't really make that much of a difference if you guys get me so a really good tip i'll give you is to build somewhere where there are villages and you know near towns available because towns and these villages will make life easier if they are near because of the main reason that they sell a lot of good starter resources that you will actually need, like building material, iron plates, stuff like that, or stuff that you're going to need right away. And also just research books too. Research books are kind of easy to get your hands on, but it's the ones that are ancient research books, ancient science research books, and engineering ones that are harder. So, you know, kind of placing yourself not that far away from these areas is actually pretty good. And, you know, it just kind of sucks just running really far away for like you know some research artifact or something of that nature it just really sucks i had to deal with it a lot when i was um starting off in kenshi and i really didn't know the locations that well and honestly this is one of my biggest tips to people is to just build near something or near like towns and villages so the first thing you want to do is actually build a penis wall um i don't know why i did that but um so what you want to do is actually build a sizable wall border. I will explain this a bit later, but for a good base, you need to have some simple walls and also a gate. The main reason I would build the wall first is to size up where you'll put everything down. Sometimes I'll put down the storm house first, but it just comes down to a little bit of personal preference. In my opinion, my advice would be to put down storm houses first, but if you want a better layout, it will be walls first, more or less. This will take some time, but it is much, it's like much more worth it if you do it this way. The main, the main things for these walls is not, it's just to not have random patrols of bandits come in and get free hits on your guys while they're like mining resources and doing all these things. And it can also like prevent bandits from coming in for a certain amount of time. And like, you know, in case you need to get your guys prepped or something, everybody plays Kenshi a little bit different. So this is just, you know what i would kind of say the second thing to do is the power source and industry part of your base so the second thing that you really need to do is secure some power and build some base and start building some basic building materials this is where the self-sufficiency will come in soon the first thing you want to do now is make the one generators this is fairly easy and i'll always re recommend making three just because it'll give you all the power you need for like starting off you're not going to need that much power in general starting off as far as batteries go and the technology they're really only good if you're doing like manual fuel and stuff like that you know in case your fuel just completely depletes and stuff that's really the only reason you'd have them if you have solar energy and kenshi you kind of really just have power forever if you like if I, i'm being honest with you that that's just really how it is 
but you want to build a snow mine and then a stone stone processor that's manual then after that an iron refinery that is right next to you know the iron resource and everything and these first tier industry building blocks that will build your basic like you know building materials will kind of suck at first like you know they'll take a while to just produce one building material or produce one iron plate but as your tech gets better and better and better these things become so good that at a certain point you don't even need somebody on the machine anymore the machine just goes automatically by itself but around once um but like you know around once you build these you want maybe like four to five people with one person idle just fixing anything that goes wrong with production and even though i said four to five maybe a little bit more on like the five to six you know but i usually say four to five to kind of start off a bit so for the third thing you want to do is you want to put down your food production i know earlier i said four to five people but in actuality it's more like five to six like i said earlier like you know it's probably more on the five to six side if you decide to do farming which i really highly recommend but i will always say do green fruits first and let me let me iterize on the entire reason why i would say do green fruits mainly is because one they are super easily accessible they're one of the easiest crops to buy Second, they aren't like, you know, just you can only plant them in one biome. You can kind of mainly plant them anywhere you want to, and it's not that much of a struggle to plant them anywhere you want to. And the third is that bread takes too long to make. Rice weed, you can only grow in the swamp. Um, cactus is pretty good, but you can't really do much with the end product unless you have other type of foods that you have that you grew. So cactus is kind of out because of that reason. I mean, cactus can literally grow probably almost everywhere in the game, if I remember correctly, but just because of the fact that it requires other crops to make food kind of sucks. So anyways, they're the easiest to grow and the best when it comes to food production. Of course they are because they, they're just so fucking amazing. Anyways, these crops require almost no water with two water per crop. And if you do a small farm, you only need 20 water to grow the farm. A good tip I'll leave here for you guys is to have the same person who works on the crops get the water while the crops are growing for food production. That way, you know, you will have... um you'll always have enough water to make it and you know for this part of your entire you know like entire base build you're going to want to put down a little bit of a vegetable area where you're going to grow the vegetables and everything and then a well right next to it i just usually do it this way because it's easier and it's not as far distance to cover and you know this is what you really are going to want and next thing you're also going to want to build is a cooking stove a cooking stove just build it in the storm house you know you can build it anywhere in the storm house to be honest it's not really subject to like anywhere where you want to build it but you know um this will allow you to make vegetable like vegetable plates and everything if you have the tech unlocked and unlocking the tech is really easy i think it only costs like two to four bucks of um research books so it's not it's not really that hard after doing all this make sure to build the research bench level two this will give you access to better tech of course you know of course it will give you access to better tech i mean you know why wouldn't it it's a fucking it's a, it's a research bench why would i put this in the fucking script i don't i don't know anyways but you know it'll also get you the tech that actually helps your machines this will give you access to other techs that will like let you train your guys for example so when you actually improve all these techs and everything you know these things that you put down at the start can really expand to be something better and you know you can actually train your people so for final touches after all this you'll have a good base you will you it will have room for you know expansion and also it's just a good starter base that's small but it is expansive you know you can expand it out if you want and if you do want to add more like let's say an area to train your guys or beds for like you know what they need to recover these things can just be added into the storm house you put down and you know you just put it down and this is like where you just start recruiting and producing a lot of food this is where you kind of take the next step in the game where you're starting to like open up your opportunities to doing other things but you know it's also like really nice to also have beds so i would recommend just putting the beds at the top you know top room and for the dummies i would just recommend you know doing um doing like you know uh training dummies lock picking boxes and assassin training just for the fact that you might need all these and it's the best ones that you could probably have so i would say do all those first and you know like just in case you decide to do any different type of builds or anything you know depending on how you like to play the game but you know 
All in all, this is my tutorial video for newcomers or people that need help starting. Hopefully you all liked my video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe. Also join my Discord in the link below. Have a great week, guys.